Today's a threefer. So we're getting all kinds of content one day because that's usually how we work because it's been 11 days since I uploaded a video and I don't care. That being said, the first one is going to be a contest entry. The second one is going to be an update on where things are, what I'm planning to do um, going forward. And the third one will be later this will be probably just after the kid goes to bed or around that time when she goes to bed, a ranking video of a band that I pretty much have every single album, which is almost a rarity for me. Um, you know, like outside of the Pantera stuff or whatever and the Down albums. Uh, there's only two albums I don't have, but one of them is, it's not super hard to find. It's super hard to find at a good price. And they just, and Nuclear Blast just re-released it, so I may have to bite the bullet and snag it. Okay, this is a contest entry for one Josh uh, JC over at the Flipside Vinyl. Um, it's been a while since I've paid attention to any of Josh's videos. Um, and it's nothing bad. It, it, when I don't watch some of these videos, it's not because I don't want to. It's because usually there's so much content that I have to go through. It's like, holy shit, do I have the time? <clears throat> and now that I do have some time, because I'm... Yeah, I'll get to the, the reason why my time is available now. Um, let's get into it. The contest is super easy. Name a channel, or shout out a channel, and show three albums. One from the 70s, the 80s, and 90s. Fucking easy, right? And then I was like, oh shit, he said records. And I'm like, okay, wait, does he want all vinyl, or can I show different formats? So, I'm showing three different formats, which you guys, I'm sure you know what it is. And I'm showing them simply because um, I can do that. Because I actually looked in the description and just said, show out and show an album. I'm like, okay. Because sometimes when some people say records, they mean vinyl. Sometimes when they say albums, you know, anyways. Enough of this waffling on like a twat. <clears throat> so actually, let's do the shout out. I've done this before and I'm doing it again. And I'm going to do two. There's two channels I'm shouting out. Um, one is for the guys in Thralls of Metal. Um, they're on the prep, uh, they're on just at the cusp of getting to 10,000 subscribers. That's ridiculous. They got a lot of people tuning in. They got a lot of people watching, a lot of people in their chats when they do rank, uh, rankings or album reviews. If you're hearing a thumping noise, that's just my washer going fucking bonkers. And the other channel is one of my good, uh, one of my good buds, um, and probably the guy that I like to lean on the most in terms of kind of asking questions where I need to go for stuff, but I haven't done it in a little bit. Uh, that's Dan Hodgson. Uh, Dan, uh, again, I'll shout this guy out to the day that I fucking die. This guy's probably got, he's, he's an early or a newer guy to the, to the VC, as a lot of you guys are knowing or starting to know. Um, He's getting up there in terms of subs. Let's get him up there further. Uh, let's get, you know, let's get some people watching and, and, and debating and discussing. Dan Hodgson, or better known as DanLord77, um, that is his uh, channel. I will post that and Thralls of Metal in the description as soon as I am done shooting and getting to upload. Second thing, show the records. So the first one, on the first format, um, this record has been one that for the longest time I didn't give much love to, only because there was like two tracks on there that I really dug. And of course, now that I have it on all three all three uh, versions of the formats, that is 1975, sorry. Jesus. It's hard to see with the way the thing is. So 1975's Sabotage by Black Sabbath. Apologies for the glare. I hate glare, but there's nothing I can really do. Oh, well, that's sort of it, I guess. Yeah, well, shitty. That's okay, because pretty soon I'm going to be getting rid of this goofy-ass monitor that's, that doesn't need to be here anymore. Um, so I'll have a semi-half-decent different sort of thing. I could prop my phone up. So yeah, Sabotage by Black Sabbath. Um, 
what do I need to say about this? Probably nothing. I mean, hole in the sky, um, sim symptom of the universe, megalomania, thrill of it all, superstar, am I going insane? Uh, probably the best song on here, the one that Dan and I talk about the most is The Writ. It's such a pissy song. Um, comes in with this nice sort of real evil, evil groove on the bass from Geezer. And then all you, and then these just big fucking chords, bow, and then Ozzy just fucking screaming at the top of his lungs. It's like, man. And then after he's done singing, it, and then he just plays a, the, a little riff, big chords, Ozzy scream. It's just like, please do, do yourself a favor. Listen to this album and listen to the writ. I mean, just listen to that song. You're if if you don't sit there and go, holy shit, he's pissed. Because this record was a very pissy album because of the fact of how they were getting screwed over from you know the record labels essentially. So yeah. Let's move on to the 80s. ACDC's 1983 record, Flick the Switch. I don't give a flying shit. This is my number two album by the band. And there's a reason. If you're hearing some jingles in the back, that's literally my washer and dryer finishing. So I can take things out and put them in. Um, This is just a fucking banger. From start to finish. I mean, Rising Power is not the best. It's, it's certainly, like, it's... Like, Rising Power in this house is on fire. I would put them down towards the bottom. Uh, Nervous Shakedown, just a little higher than that. Badlands, just a in around there. But the rest of this, the title track's a fucking a ripper. Landslide, that's what I would call ACDC if they did thrash. Uh, or speed metal. Guns for Hire, just a just soon you hear that little sort of guitar bits. And then they fucking all come in and they're just all rocking and just 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 thumping all the shit like it's just that stomp that the, that the band's had for years uh deep in the hole it's sort of like a slower bluesy kind of kind of feel to it bedlam in belgium uh that's a true story about how fucking insane it was when they played a show there and the cops were going nuts and probably by far one of my favorite dirty style lyric lyrical songs with a nice little fat beat and little up you know sort of upbeat sort of thump to it uh brain shake if you don't have this i don't know what the fuck your problem is uh cassette vinyl t cd it doesn't matter this has to be in people's collections if you're an if you're an acdc fan as a whole this has to be in your collection because it's probably one of the best the only one that actually the only one that subs higher than that is power Ridge, uh because power Ridge is a fucking uh, another stunner from top to bottom uh, Dan and I've had many chats about that before too. Okay, so now we're gonna slide in here. I'm gonna put that back where I grabbed it. And uh, no, the night my '90s record, um, just showing album obviously from the '90s. I got all kinds of '90s records here. I'm a '90s kid. I was born in '81, but I mean a lot of the stuff I get into of the '80s didn't come till later, except ACDC, Metallica, and you know that kind of thing. Now this here. I did when I did the ranking for this. I absolutely fucking hated it. I absolutely not the, not this album. This was number one, but I hated doing it because it was literally one of the hardest rankings I think I've ever done. Simply because it's a band that I've only heard of bits and pieces of, and then listening to the entire discography, I put certain records in certain spots and people hated me for it. I was like, whatever, I don't care, fuck it, yeah. You know. That band is death. That album is human. Now, of course, this is the 2017 release. But this is also a reissue because it is the 2021 reissue of the actual vinyl version because it's the Butterfly Splatter, which I think it's kind of nice. I kind of like the dirty, sort of beigey look to it. It's kind of, I actually dig the hell out of it. So yeah, Death, Human, probably one of my favorite album covers of theirs uh, next to, I mean, all the album covers are good. Even Sound of Perseverance, and people hate that record. I don't hate that record. It's just not my favorite Death record. It's like, it's it's, it's number seven of the lot. I mean, if you guys watched that video, you know. 
But I like this lineup because this is basically Cynic um, with Steve Giorgio and Chuck. I mean, fucking really? Like, how do you not like that? Flattening of Emotions, Suicide Machine. Suicide Machine! Uh, together as one, Secret Face, Lack of Comprehension, that bass line that started perfect. Caesar Dreams, I mean, I really wish they would have left that fucking bullshit Kiss fucking cover off it. Because we all know how everyone loves Kiss. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to get that in there. Anyways, death. Okay, that's that folks. So, that's the contest. There you go, JC. Just around 11 minutes. Have fun with that, bud. <laughs> Just kidding. It's really not that bad. Um, anyways, I'm going to have the next video I'm going to be shooting at here in just a few minutes. Cheers. Clearly, I still don't know how to push buttons.